Now I'm sure we're all familiar with the hypothesis, or I should say the old adage, where if you deprive the body of one sense, the other senses begin to heighten. Well, in an article published in the Journal of Neurons, I should say this February 7, 2014, and it is titled, Simulated Blindness Can Revive Hearing Researchers Find. They want to see if this is actually true and put it to the test. Now, what the researchers did is this case, they took some animals. And the animals, and or mice, deprived them of light and looked at the brain imagery to see if basically the certain areas of the brain responsible for auditory, um, or should say hearing, became enhanced or more connections were formed. Well, to the astonishment of the researchers, this did occur. And to use their own words, they said, in my opinion, which is the researchers talking, quoting, the coolest aspect of our work is that the loss of one sense vision can augment the processing of the remaining sense, in this case, hearing. And the researcher's name was Lee. By temporarily preventing vision, we may be able to engage the adult brain to now change the circuit to better process sound, which they found in animals does happen. The researchers found a change in the brain circuitry for the mice that experienced simulated blindness, specifically in the area of the brain that processes sound called the primary auditory cortex. It says the primary auditory cortex allows conscious perception of pitch and loudness. The researcher concluded that a certain set of connectors in the primary sensory areas of the brain called the thalamocortical cortical inputs, thalamocortical cortical inputs, to say it three times fast, are less flexible than humans later on in life. When it, another sense is impaired, however, those connectors can be reactivated to support the sense that is lagging. So what they're basically trying to imply is this. If your hearing is going as you're getting older, you may be able to revive it, to regenerate it, just by basically putting yourself in darkness for a little while. And in their case, they say, quote, they don't know exactly how long. In the case of these animals, it was about a week. But through multi-sensory training or basically slight deprivation of light, you may be able to re-engage those senses. And henceforth, basically your brain becomes young again. These areas of the brain which were thought were cut off, no longer basically being able to be remodeled or remold, end up fixing themselves. So once we think something's a fixed unit, we think it's over. But in this case, depriving the body, or I should say the eyes of light, the auditory regions of the brain began to redevelop, to heighten those senses, so to say. It says, presently these changes uncovered by the group are reversible, meaning the mice that experienced simulated blindness eventually reverted to a normal hearing after a few weeks in normal light-dark environments. So, the hearing is going a little bit. Something you may want to talk to a medical practitioner or a doctor or maybe in your case, try on your own if you have the ability to put yourself in darkness for a while, cut the night light off, dim the lights a little bit, try to maybe walk around at night, and see maybe if that does make a difference in improving your hearing as the brain begins to rewire itself to heighten a different sense. Thank you.